Welcome to Posers. We are here today in Malibu, California to speak with Maya Fines. She has taken her talent as a classical pianist and has combined it with her kundalini yoga teachings to create a very unique approach to yoga that she shares with everyone through her DVDs and her new book, Yoga for Real Life. I can't wait to hear what she has to say. She's lovely. Maya, we were just we were just starting to talk a little bit about the um, the difference between like what is Kundalini yoga as opposed to the yoga that um, so many of us in the West have been introduced to, like the the more um, you know like the Hatha yoga, more about the positions. Kundalini is more. Yeah, Kundalini yoga is really a body mind workout, body mind spirit workout. Really, the three working together at all times, every position we do. It's really connected, so we do breathing, we do positioning, we do asanas, we do pranayam, um, mantra, we use a sound a lot. All of that happens in one class, and every class is different. We have thousands of different sets. So it's quite an interesting journey, it's really an experience. And throughout the hour, hour and a half, you will experience the body working, the mind and the spirit all together. It's working with um, energy, Kundalini energy, that we are all born with, but it's sits, it's dormant, sleeping in the face chakra. So while we want to wake up this energy, we can feel 100% of our possibilities we have as human beings. And we're not using at all, we use such a little percentage of what we can be, and we are powerful human beings. In fact, our teacher Yogi Bhajan uh, says um, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. Maya, um, show us that pose that is for your nerves that you did used to do for Oh yes, my favorite. Like now. And then head up, feet up. So how I started Kundalini Yoga is because I was uh, performing as a classical pianist and I would get nervous before the performance. So um, I used to do that position all the time before the performance. And just even simple breathing through the nose, inhale, exhale, powerfully through the mouth. And you do that 10 times, you're completely calm. I always say, even in the car, if you get stressed, you can do it anywhere. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. It's just the simplest tool that we have, is the breath. We have to really use it. Between that and the nerves, the stretch pose, I was ready for stage. Wow. And then, the, how does the physical aspect come in? Like um, things like you know, moving, you know, like like basically yeah, the we work with the spine. I work always with the spine first to start with because that age is measured by the flexibility of the spine. So more we flex the spine, younger we stay. So first we generate that energy and shift the kundalini through the spine, and then we do the set, whatever the set will be for that time. So now you're going to show me, or you're going to help me do an exercise that I've never done before, yes. um, and I'm a little scared, okay. so at your own risk. Okay, this is a frog pose. We do look like frogs. <laughs> and we're going to do it 26 times, very fast. So here we go, let's go up. The heels are together and they're staying up throughout the whole position. Okay. So inhale, buttocks up, exhale, come down, and then pick your head back. 